Hi, I'm Deanna Matson, an editor at the PA Life and host of Power Up the PA Life community. I wanted to bring you um, a piece of advice that I give my editing clients frequently when I'm working on their personal statements. And that is to start at the end. This advice is based on the four-step elevator pitch, which is utilized by job seekers. And while you're not a job seeker, you are asking them to invest in you, the admissions committee, to invest in you as a future PA student and a future PA. The four components of this is an introduction, providing a summary of what you do, explaining what you want, and finishing with a call to action. That's pretty close to a personal statement. I would make a couple adjustments to that structure, and I'll talk about what those will be in just a moment. So let's think about the conclusion that you write to your personal statement. If you were to use it as an elevator pitch, what would it look like? Well, it would have pretty much four components. One is a connection to your introduction, that opening story you use to grab their attention and to illustrate why it is you want to be a PA. And then in your essay, you should somewhere summarize what you would bring to the profession. You want to show them that not only are you qualified through your experiences, your professional experiences or your volunteering experiences, but that you also um, have certain qualities and attributes that are necessary to the PA profession. And you should also in your essay explain why you want to be a PA. And we encourage three core reasons. It's just kind of a nice round number. And those reasons should really ideally be matched to your own qualities, your fit for the profession, but also the desire you have for your future career, your aspirations. That's kind of a vision or mission statement, what you want to accomplish, what kind of care you want to provide, to whom and for what purpose. And that purpose is really the outcomes for your patients. So those are the four main components that should be in your conclusion and the four components that really should be somewhere in your essay, however you structure it. And there's a variety of ways to do that, but certainly you should have an introduction that if it doesn't tell a story, should really set up a very complex and interesting conflict that we want to see resolved. Maybe it's an internal conflict you had as you were trying to decide a career path or switching from a career path. Or maybe it was a conflict um, within your own personal medical experience that you wanted to help be part of the solution. There's a lot of ways to go, but your opening should somehow engage readers enough to keep them moving on to learn why you want to be a PA, the specific reasons, how you learned about the profession in order to determine that you were actually a good fit for it, show your fit, show your preparation through work, and then push it forward. Your call to action is, here's what I want to accomplish as a future PA, and the subtext without saying it directly is, I hope you'll see um, the value in investing in that and investing in me, but you're not gonna say that. You're just going to show them the vision. It's all implied. All right, I hope that's helpful. For those of you who are feeling a little stuck on your personal statement, not sure where to start, start at the end.